Hello, and welcome to another Do Banana video. Let's skip back a few months, back in December, when I posted the Assembly Square unboxing review. Next to me is a very, very large box. And next to me now is the thing that came out of the box, the Lego Assembly Square. If I'm right, the Assembly Square build is one of the biggest in the Lego collection, and it's certainly a very big set. Let's take a look at the dimensions. It's 12 centimeters by 39 centimeters. So it's pretty big for a Lego set. So you can see that it's stunning and a few people I've shown a picture of it to mistaked it for a real building. So if we can look, it's very intricately decorated. It's three stories high plus the roofs and it, it showcases three buildings but it's actually two because these two are connected. So we'll start from the top stories i just need to stop the camera now so now we're going to look at the top floor the the exteriors the interiors and the inhabitants let's start with the top floor exteriors so the top floor of this building i think is the nicest bit in assembly square and it was f certainly the most fun to build so this is the front view there's this very nice spire here with these um, non-see-through windows that you often get in castle sets. Um, here, we've got a nice sculpture of a chicken. A chicken. A chicken. It's a real chicken piece, just a white variant. Um, also, there are nice windows here and a nice circular window effect. If we look over to this side view, there's another one of these, but no chicken. Um, also, the top of the other building um, round is um, actually a rooftop sitting area of this whole top of the building, which is an apartment. Um, but that we'll count that as interior, so we'll do that later. This is the back. There's this not there's a nice door into the interior and a little fencing because there's outdoor stairs. We'll get we'll see that as a whole when we do it as a whole right at the end before the pros and cons. And then this other building, which is also very nice if we look at side view. This building in particular is a dance studio and I'm going to show the roof of this because this I think is the most uh, decorative roof. Um in, in considering of what's actually on it rather than what's around it, uh, if you know what I mean. So at the top there's this very nice skylight and door entry. Um, also, this one, unlike the one um, below it, which we'll see later, there's a balcony instead of some flowers. Also there's these nice things that you don't get in other lego builds it's they use for very different purposes because modular builds are doing the unexpected with bricks now we'll be doing inhabitants this here is the lego fan the woohoo type of fan not the sh -sh -sh type of fan um if we look at her she's got a ponytail green trousers and a hoodie with a star top right next the the um music shop owner uh even though the music shop's on the previous floor i'm including him here because i i believe he's the one who's going to play the piano in the music um in the dance studio we'll get onto that later he's got a nice funny haircut that we don't see much in other lego things because um, actually it's going around the side and there's no bit there like there mostly is also he's got a nice red checked shirt and grey trousers now there's the ballerina who's got this 
tutu piece in between the top and the legs. Uh, she's got um, um, a dress-like piece on the middle, a bun on the hair, a trademark face like everything else in this set, and white trousers. And this isn't really a minifigure baby. It, I've seen it in another thing, only it's a different pram, different baby outfit. So it comes with this cool um, old style pram with uh, an overhang. And this is the tiny little baby. It's, it's only two pieces instead of, I think, seven or so, uh, which they usually do in Lego men these are only two because the legs are the arms and legs and torso are one bit i think uh, the baby is one of my favorite mini figures now we're going to look at the inside and you'll see why i think this building is the most fun to build so this is the lego fans apartment and it has a lot of lego in it um mini lego like lego lego like what they call lego in the lego world um so there's a sofa bed there which i can't show you at the moment also it doesn't fold back that easily and on the shelf above that there there are actually previous modular builds the first three actually tiny little versions cafe corner um um market street and greengrocer are there and there's this nice picture there there's a kitchenette, a nice rug, and an entire Lego track that she's built there. There are also Lego cars there, and if you can't see them, um, it's fine. And it's the and it's a tiny version of the packaging for Cafe Corner. Um, so if we look in this build, in this little room here, that's a toilet. It's a studio more than an apartment. Uh, it's a studio apartment. Uh, there's an old-fashioned toilet with a pole chain. Um, and now we'll be looking at the outside garden bit. So this outside garden sitting area bit um, has a nice outside grill here. A space for pans, a, an old dead bush, and, um, and a nice sitting area there with a cup of coffee. Um, also, there's this nice uh, grating that I wouldn't really call a roof, but uh, that comes off quite easily, so don't... Um... Also, what I've found is don't be too harsh with this certain building, because these two bits come off quite easily if we look at the bottom. Those pieces that are separating that can could snap at any moment. Put that back on now. Now, if we look at the interior, sorry, um, ballerina, if we look at the interior of this, it isn't that um, furnished, although there is a nice chrome um, mirror piece. I don't know if you can see it, but, ah, oh, there we go, chrome mirror piece there, and a very nice piano. I'm going to show you the piano by taking it out. It's it's even got the little footstools at the bottom. There's a footstool in there, but... Um, and the keys are made using the great pieces, which I think is a really creative way. So much is in modular builds. It's so detailed. And also, with the apartment, it's one of the only apartments in the Lego sets that I've came across that actually have a toilet um, at or, and, at or, and or a, um, a kitchenette. So these are, this is like... A proper apartment um, like unlike other buildings so that's the top floor moving down to the so now we're going to look at the floor in the middle so the exterior of these two buildings on the left and right don't differ that much from the top floor but the middle one as the top floor technically being the roof of this has a different design altogether going for a sort of greengrocer look with these white and clear bricks like that also there's there's this little uh, groove here and some flowers there and if we flip this around it looks uh, technically the same 
uh, to the top floor, except that there's stuff there, and there's an act there's an actual staircase going up to the top floor. Um, there, there's also two doors, one that goes go going into this building, and one that's going out. Um, so, if we look at the other building, it there isn't much difference apart from that there is no balcony. There's just a um, a window with some flowers. Also, I tried experimenting to make these two these two buildings on the top floor and middle floor one building. All I needed to do was flip the balcony room with this one and uh, remove the balcony um, support. Uh, so now let's look uh, take a look at the residence. Um, this is the dentist. Um, he's got a very Emmett style hair, only it's blonde and it doesn't have a tuft at the top. He's got white dentistry clothes and brown trousers. Also, there's the French photographer with a French hat, I don't know what they're called, um, a moustache, um, uh, very casual clothes and olive uh, trousers. So now let's take a look inside the buildings. So let's start on these buildings. So this building here is the dentist and this one here is the photographer's. Let's take a look inside. I'm so um, I'm just going to pick out the things because there's quite a lot of flimsy things on this floor, removable things that aren't fixed onto the ground. There's this nice old fashioned camera here, which is a very good design. Um, uh, there's the light flash there, uh, the camera, and there's a, a tripod stand. Um, let's take that out. Also, in the waiting room of the dentists, there's a um, newspaper and an odd postcard. I love HLC, whatever that stands for. Now, without any of the flimsy bits in the way, we'll look inside. So if we look at the dentists, um, we can see that here, this bit here, is the waiting room with the clock and the two doors and the door into the photographers. Um, and over here is the actual dentist bit with um, a with a dentist chair, which uh, with the um, thing that you can move up and down, the light, and a swivelly table. Um, over here is the dentist's cabinet as well. Um, also, there's a dentist uh, joke here um, of Lego bricks turning yellow if they're left in the sun for too long. Dentist prevents yellowing. <laughs> um, so here in the um, in the photography studio, there's not much going on without the camera, except that there's this white like paper style effect flowing down there, and I think that's the um, I think that's the manager of the brick bank there. Um, so yeah, and this is probably this is a very packed one. It um, unlike the top floor, it's full of stuff. It's got uh, the music shop. It's got a cash register here, drums here, a full drum kit, um, a saxophone that you can take off its stand, and both acoustic and electric guitars. It's um, it's a real good. Um, no mirror though, which is a shame. I think it would be have been quite nice to even have a mirror here, because. Um, get the most out of that chrome effect because the only other one um, it's in is uh, the barber shop in um, Owls in in um, detective's office so that's the middle floor um, there's not much else on the middle floor apart from a few minor changes so let's go on to the floor where most of the stuff's happening the bottom so this is the bottom floor, which is actually stuck to the ground, unlike the other two floors. So it's really nice. There's a bakery, a flower shop, and a coffee shop. So if we look at the ground first, there was a whole floor, there was a whole section 
of this um, build dedicated to building the ground floor. There's very intricate mosaics outside um, the bakery and the coffee shop. And there's this really nice uh, water fountain in the middle. Um, also, there are the trademark modular build street lights. Uh, the white variant because in the new hidden side sets there are black um, stem things um, So let's start by looking I can't take it apart So I'll need to prop it up in order for you to show or I might take my camera over here um, So let's start from the exterior if we're really looking at that I might need to take my the, the camera here so there's actually quite a lot to see here in terms of the exterior. Um, we'll look at the coffee shop first. There are actually outside tables, as there usually are at coffee shops. A few over there. And this really nice awning that they borrowed from Cafe Corner. Because um, Assembly Square takes lots of different features from lots of different modular builds and squishes them all together and it comes out really nice. Also, there are street lamps coming out of the building and little potted plants as well as a nice mosaic. And there are also these very nice um, oval windows as well as a glass door. Now, let's turn this around so you can see the back bit. The back bit is actually quite nice for a back bit. Um, it's got this nice ivy plant creeping out of the ground as well as a glass door looking at the back and also there's this um, nice little spooky style alleyway um, also there's these little um, metallic grates um, coming through the doors which acts as a step also the flower shop has the most noticeable sign ever um, two um, bricks made to look like uh, a flower with stems sticking out of them. Um, also, there are nice oval windows around the top and um, a nice awning. Also, the doorknob is actually a flower piece. Here, there's also an odd broom and shovel piece um, and the bakery. I think the hardest um, build was actually this bakery build also. So there's this little dome here which serves as the point for those nice circular um, windows on the middle and top floor. Also, these um, these are actually garage uh, door, um, um, see-through garage door pieces. They are really hard to put on, with, um, and um, so as not to spoil the view, they put little gates around those. There's also a pretzel for the bakery store sign and these bird traps, I think. Um, so if we look on the back of those two builds, there's um, quite a bit going on. Um, there's these nice um, window, um, see uh, translucent windows there. Also, this is where the first thing is. Here, oddly, probably from the failed attempts at the cherry cake inside the... Um, bakery there's two cherries in the bin I don't know if you can see or not but you can see my hand <laughs> trying to put the flimsy old thing back on whilst um, holding the camera um, so now we'll be looking at the insides also this green button I'll show you how what it does later so inside the bakery it's chock-a-block with stuff um, here is a very very nice wedding cake as well as lots of cakes on the display stand and cooler stand um, if I just tilt this the other way you can see a bit clearer there's a um, nice um, uh, clock, old-fashioned clock there and this here is the oven if you open the oven door I'm sure if you've if you've been looking up assembly square this is one of the best bits if you open the oven door, there's some cupcakes and that green button on the other side, this is where um, influence from Lego Technic comes in. Um, the thing actually pushes the cakes out. A fresh batch of cakes 
I'll just leave that there because we're not doing any more in this room. Um, all right, now moving on to the flower shop, which is the hardest to film because it's actually the smallest. But in there, um, there's a bunch of flowers, a little odd plant in a um, mini greenhouse there. And here, there's the um, one of two pets, a parrot. I think it, it looks different on the actual covering, and I think I prefer the one on the covering. Also, for some reason, there's this big gap between um, uh, the bakery and here. I don't, I don't know why they haven't put a door in there or just some walls. And now the um, cafe is even more chock-a-block with stuff. Um, there's a there's a barista-grade coffee machine there, some desks, um, coffee mugs, a pie, a register. And this very nice um, um, awning or whatever, uh, entryway to the back door. Also, there are nice olive style, olive um, and maroon table and chair sets. Also, there's a dog there, which is the second pet. Um, also, the, um, the door in the creepy little alleyway goes up to the top floors of this so now what we're going to do is we're going to see this whole build as a whole and see how it looks all together oops um i forgot to do the um characters for the bottom floor so here they all are um the baker which has got a pretty standard design the sh chef's torso a baker's hat um and light gray trousers there's the um, barista with um, uh, black hair, um, a um, coffee um, torso, and um, a, a little apron shoe thing. Um, and here is the flower shop lady with um, grey hair, a, um, a jacket with a, um, a t-shirt there. Um, a flower in her hand which isn't actually in the set but there's four flowers on display at the back um, and light cre cream um, trousers so this is the whole building as a whole it's pretty hard to fit it all in the frame it's so big um, it, it looks so nice when it's all put together it looks nice apart but it also it looks way nicer together you can actually see how they connect and ha what those other bits are for. You can see, you can also finish, uh, see the finished set stairway on the back, if I look. Um, yeah, that's the finished stairway. You can see the stairway design that way. Also, on top of the oven is how you get from, how you get from the bakery upstairs. Um, so it's um it's a very 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 good set um but now we're going to do pros and cons and i'm going to give it a final score i mean i don't think there's very much cons to this but um let's do it so pros there's pretty much pretty much all everything from this build is a pro it's uh very good for its price uh the price went a bit down ever since 2017 when it was released um it's it's it just looks stunning really but um however there are a couple of cons that i'd like to express um the signs if um this the sides if um i know it's meant to be interconnecting but if you don't have any other modular builds you'll be stuck with the sides looking like this it isn't as bad on the other side but still also another not very um i don't think very useful um bit was the um i know it's a uh, modular builds are a uh, creative x uh, creator expert but this didn't um uh, this um i had to do multiple times to finally get right i don't think I think everybody has tr had trouble with the garage, the, with the garage door um, windows. 
um, maybe next time they if if they do a re-release of Assembly Square, which they probably won't, but if they do, um, maybe re uh, re um, redo that just as one piece. I know, I know Lego doesn't like making new pieces, but I think they should do an exception because um, this is almost as hard as the original Hagrid's hut. Um, um, Lego set from the 80s, uh, not I mean 90s, um, where it was actually paper. Um, so let's do an overall score. I mean, this is so good. I I have to, even though those little slight um, differences, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. It's such a good build. It's such a such a good build. Um, it, it was made to celebrate um, Leg um, Lego Modular Building's 10th anniversary and it was a very, very good building to celebrate that. Um, so this is a buy. If you, This is a must buy if you are a fan of Lego like that Lego fan here. Um, <laughs> Um, uh, even if you're not as hardcore as that Lego fan with her three modular builds and her um, entire train set, um, this is still a good buy. I, I know the, the label says 16 plus, I'm not that old and I built it in about a few days, um, spread out in a few days. So I think, I think um, this would be... Um, I think uh, yeah, this 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 um this would be suitable for people for advanced Lego th people who are a bit younger. Um, so yeah, um, be sure to take a like and subscribe to the Do Banana channel. I finally got that right. <laughs>